Welcome to the final sim day over here at the Her Little Sons Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Ritter. You can call me ND Tex. And as always, you can catch us live over here on twitch.tv slash Her Little Sons. Catch us over on the podcast by subscribing over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you have to get your podcast feeds at. Come join us in Discord. That is our live chat channel, HerLittleSons.com slash Discord. And of course, you can always find us at our home at HerLittleSons.com. Shane, how are you doing, sir? I see Raina is already ready for this final sim of the season as well. She couldn't even wait. Uh, b- before the thing got even started, she was just like, all right, let's go. Yeah. Get me, scratch me, and do the sim. Let's do this. Yeah, it's it's been, it feels, with this weird layoff, Eddie and I were talking about it yesterday on our picks pod. It just feels like it's been like months since we've yeah, last talked. This is supposed to be the longest layoff, right? Yeah. Uh, of the entire contract i guess i sure hope so i mean i I know there was a lot of weirdness with uh new year's falling in the middle of the week and of course the rose bowl and the sugar got to be all special and whatnot so here we are but we are going to have one hell of a matchup coming your way uh clemson and lsu so there's going to be very little notre dame talk throughout so if you're here for that we appreciate the download uh but go ahead and hang on because if you've been with us for a while you know the sim craziness is going to continue, and I, for one, Shane, am happy it will not involve a team we're emotionally invested in. <laughs> no, no, it's just going to be um, a lot of Tigers. <laughs> exactly. Tigers, Tigers, and more Tigers. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, but we will talk a little bit uh, real quick. Uh, one piece of Notre Dame news, and that is uh, Phil Dracovic is no longer going to be on the Irish, a move that I think a lot of us felt was a strong possibility of happening. Yeah. So I, I don't know, Shane. I, I I don't feel too too awful about it. I'm not overly surprised. I don't think it sounds like much. The Egg Bowl is about to become a lot more exciting. Benny jumping offside because we're not there oh my yet. God, Benny, we'll get there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not over. Uh, you know, how, how are you feeling about the situation? Because I'm Look, man, eh, about I, it. I. I'm long, long behind me are the days of honestly, like really giving much of a shit about <laughs> players. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's because like, that's what the game is now, dude. Like what to name? Like, can you tell me off the top of your head, like 20 teams that didn't have a player transfer? Like not really. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, it's the norm, especially in the quarterback position. Yeah, and, and it's, it's the quarterback position. He's already sat two years. And I mean, He's obviously felt that, like, okay, one more year's gone because Book is back. Like, fuck, what am I going to do? Tyler Buckner is going to be staring down my throat the next couple of years. Like, fuck this. And Drew I mean, Pine is, is, you know, Drew up Pine's and already here. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. And um, frankly, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. The dude, the dude deserves to fucking play somewhere and he deserves, he deserves to kick some people's asses. Yeah. So I'm happy with it. I, I want to see him light it up for sure because always, you know, it, it's very much one bush like. It's like, well, shit, it didn't work out here. Hope it, and I hope it goes better than what Wimbush's last excursion did. Mm-hmm. I, and that is kind of what I fear for Phil because the quarterbacks that have transferred out from Notre Dame, it really, it just in general, quarterback transfers, it doesn't typically work out too well. We're seeing some notable exceptions in this playoffs. You know, with Justin Fields and Joe Burrow as they were trying to escape other people's shadows as well. So, hey, it could very well work out in their favor. It, it, it might not. Uh, yeah. So, and I, I, some people would like to read more into the locker room and the situation. I just, I can't buy it for a second because you're, yeah. you're trying to tell me a, a coaching staff that brought up a backup quarterback in book, pulled the plug on Wimbush while he was undefeated, is all of a sudden not in on a top 100 quarterback? Nah, that that just doesn't pass the smell test for me. I mean, he's got what three losses <laughs> as a starter? I, I am I am I mad? I, it, this is the nature of the game, dude. Like Brian Kelly, this is the first time he's been able to be like, oh my god, two years of consistency at quarterback. Like, fuck, what, is, is the sky falling? 
Yeah, that's why it's, we had to switch offensive coordinators because we had to do something weird, right? <laughs> yeah, no, the offensive coordinator was just too mad, uh, too busy being angry all the time, apparently. Um, no, man, it's just this is one of those things where, like, you can't argue with continuity. You can't argue with the success that that continuity has brought. And frankly, like, you know, there's a there's an opportunity now to elevate book to either, you know, Reese's levels or I don't know, Joe, Mo- Joe Moorhead levels. Who the fuck knows? It'd be interesting. You know what I mean? There's a lot of wonderful possibilities up ahead. I'm uh, okay with it. I'm okay with it, uh, and especially at with all the positions that the, well, the development that's going to be available at the position. I, I understand the depth being a concern, especially after book. There's no experience really on the depth chart, but I mean, name a Brian Kelly quarterback situation that's been better. <laughs> <laughs> which you know, is weird it, because it was it the just one happened. <laughs> yeah no, and nobody thought book would be that person but uh and, and moving on real quick before we get into the sim uh, i was not expecting to be talking about the egg bowl as benny so mentioned in his cheer but then mississippi state went off and hired mike fucking leach yeah who, buddy <laughs> did you see shane did you see the video of him flying into starkville <laughs> <laughs> I I saw the video and honestly I'm sad I didn't it didn't occur to me at the time of seeing it but now I watched it again and all I see is Mike Leach in his head saying shame clanga clanga shame clanga clang he's so depressed he and looks like so he checked seems, out you can tell that like there's a part of him that's thinking like is is my wrist health even worth ringing this bell I mean I don't. He's looking around as though like, what what society have I walked into? These are these are humans. <laughs> yeah. So because somebody decided to do a fake pissing celebration in the end zone, oh we God. now are gifted with the next egg bowl being Lane Kiffin against Mike Effin Leach. Yeah. In a marriage There's your butterfly effect right there. <laughs> in a marriage in Mississippi State, that the only thing that makes sense as far as fit is that it's a smallish town. Where, you know, it's not a, a, a huge scene, which Mike yep. Leach seems to like to avoid. So he's got that going for him. But man, does this seem like cultural warfare about to break I out? I, I'm interested to see what's him. happening because his first three games out of the shoot, he faces Alabama and Auburn out the shoot. <laughs> he's, it's it's going to be interesting right out the gate. You're going to get some weird ass press conferences. You're going to get a lot of good old boys in the media that are not going to be ready for this shit. <laughs> I was going to I would say like his soul would, would further depart him, but I mean, I think that's just, it's been at sea for so long. Now. Uh, yeah, um, absolutely. It's going to be entertaining. We will say that. This... Going to be, 2020 is going to be something. Yeah. And, and because Matt rule also found himself a job. Uh, so Baylor is open. Wazoo is open. The coaching carousel is going to keep spinning just a little bit longer. So we'll see where everything lands here within the next couple of weeks, yep. but that is not why we're here today. We're here nope. for some good old video game football to take part in the most accurate of all prediction methods in a game where Clemson is finally disrespected by being about a six point underdog. I will tell you what, they are not disrespected in the NCAA rankings that we downloaded. I will tell you that much right now. Yeah. (laughs) This is going to be interesting. I have adjusted nothing, so we're just going to roll with it. So, Shane, for one more time this season. One more time. Are you ready? Let's get it done. All right, let's do it. Reina's ready. I hit the button. Let's just go. LSU versus Clemson. We're heading on into the Sugar Bowl, a de facto home game for LSU. Did they just show highlights of a player from Clemson tackling an LSU player they, like in pregame warm up? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> that never made sense to me. Why it would? What the hell was that? Like, are they showing? Are they predicting the future? <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I, I see. I, I know that they're the underdogs. I'm sorry, but um, LSU is gonna is, is gonna beat that ass. I'm, I, that's what I'm expecting. And that's what I'm expecting in real life, too. Both Eddie and I took him. We're all disrespecting Dabo's ass, but we'll see what this drunk-ass Xbox over here is going to do. Clemson is the visiting team as the lower seed. They lose the toss. First L of the night. <laughs> LSU will defer. And off we go. National title, LSU, Clemson, Tiger on Tiger Violence. Yes. And we start with a touchback. So Trevor Lawrence... Oh, man, that's a crime. They don't give him long hair in this game. Who? No. What? They don't give him <laughs> any fucking hair. What the a, hell? He's got a buzz cut. <laughs> wow. 
All right, well, Lawrence will come out three wide, ATN in the backfield. Read option, Lawrence pulls it down, and he is drugged down after a three-yard gain, second and seven coming up. And, of course, just like every other team in this damn game, we're going to have no huddle on no huddle. Yep. Lawrence in the pistol, drops back, screen oh. incomplete. Just ducks it into uh, screen territory to no one. <laughs> that was all kinds of awkward. Third and seven for Clemson. Three down lineman for LSU. Lawrence in the pistol. Drops back. Then oh, scrambles. Right. He's got some room. Oh. It's going to be real close. Oh, They're going to give it to him. First and ten. Oh, All, right. All right. Pushed up to the 35 now. Lawrence in the shotgun. Almost draws LSU offsides. He's got a lot of time. Throws over the middle, and it's complete. T. Higgins. Shaking off the after effects of whatever happened to him at the Fiesta Bowl. 12 yard gain. Clemson's offensive line is uh, winning up front early. First and 10 near midfield. Back to pass, and hey, Lawrence will just throw this one away. So only one completion for Lawrence to start this. Not, not what I would have expected. Yeah, I mean, it, it's clear that they're like building off of their Ohio State game plan, right? A little bit of just run them because they're letting them. Well, now LSU finally gets four down linemen back, and they try another screen with ATN. He cups up midfield and gets six yards. It'll be third and four and plus territory for Clemson. Ball spotted on the LSU 47-yard line. Three receivers, Lawrence in the shotgun. And he will pass four-man rush. Oh, another screen. Yeah. This one's going to be stopped, it looks like. No, ATM breaks oh, the tackle. Adam but still loses two yards. Interesting to call a screen on third and very manageable. Yeah, uh, they, they had success kind of intermediate. I understand that they're trying to keep, you know, keep them off balance. Maybe they're trying to test the edge speed, but uh, yeah, that's not a test that they're going to they're gonna fail. And so we have our first punt of the game, and it will be in plus territory. Beautiful. We're Beautiful. already starting off with uh, the drinky drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and this punt is away. And it almost dies, but it rolls into the end zone. So LSU will take over, and Joe Burrow, your reigning Heisman winner, rated in the 80s in this game. <laughs> so we'll see. Ah, uh, what? And, and look at this. They're in I formation. I think there's going to be all sense of broken here. We'll see if we actually see what we've seen from LSU in real life. Well, oh, straight up ball. run here. And Alaire goes seven-yard gain. I like how he's E dash Alaire. Yeah, instead of Edwards. E <laughs> e e it sounds like additional Cajun. And now, e well, now LSU spreads it out with four wide. Burrow back in the shotgun. Second and three. Back to pass over the middle. One handed grab. Yeah, that's pretty LSU, man. <laughs> yep. They're here. Marshall with a beautiful one handed stab. Eight yard gain. First down for the Tigers. Accurate one handed catch. Um, hmm. Sim? <laughs> Back in the I formation goes LSU. Alaire gets oh a handoff, cuts up field. Huge hole, oh. barrels over a defender. Nine-yard gain. Okay, so the reason why I said, oh, my God, it was just it looked like they, the, the entire line parted. I mean, from up here, for the, it was just so perfect. The lane was just five, wide yard, or five yards wide. Yeah, they're going to keep running it down their throat, it looks like. I formation once again. Oh, well, play action, oh. but it's going to go down to Edwards Alaire, and he stiff-armed somebody towards the 50. Might just be short, but that is another first down on the five-yard game. Clyde Edwards Alaire has punched someone in back-to-back -back runs. <laughs> so this is just short of midfield on the 49-yard line of LSU. Three wide, Burrow back in the shotgun. And this goes back to Edwards Alaire. He cuts up field across to the 40, across to the 35, 30, 25, inside the red zone, 15. Huge run, 40-yard gain. Well, welcome back. Yeah, so uh, stats be damned. The game seems to understand what's happening here. <laughs> and uh, that is going to be, I think, brought all the way down to the 11s where they'll mark this. So first and 10 for LSU. Yes, on the 11. And we got first and 10 again in the I formation. So we're, we're seeing the antithesis of what we kind of see from LSU this season. Yeah, yeah. Emory Jr. comes in the backfield after the long 40 plus yard game by Edwards Alaire. It's second and eight coming up for LSU. Ball's on the nine yard line. Three wide, single back. Burrow goes under center. Tight end coming in motion down towards the near sideline. 
And three-step drop, quick over the middle, and it is incomplete. incomplete. Yeah, incomplete. Third and eight. Yeah, I'm not really sure now. It looks like this red zone offense is decision-making. I'm not sure why they're going so conservative here. It's like Les Miles is back in there. Four wide this time for Burrow, back in the shotgun. He's back to pass, has a lot of time, and decides a little too late to run, and he is sacked. Quote, unquote. Sacked? Yep. That's a loss. Logan, yes. Logan Rudolph on the sack. Yeah, I just the, everything was crossing over the middle. I mean, it was man-to-man coverage. I mean, the, the opportunity to run was closed the second he took off. So this will be a 27-yard attempt. Kick is up, and it is good. So LSU draws first blood. 3-0, 435 left to go in the first. All right, that's Clemson's second L. <laughs> <laughs> and this one will be returned by Clemson. Cuts across the 20, hurdling oh. somebody across the 25, goes ATN. 28-yard I, gain. I have never seen the, the, the AI effectively and perfectly time a hurdle. That was amazing. <laughs> well, usually the AI isn't uh, have someone like Travis ATN they've taken control of, because that was beautiful. That was and ATN is still in the backfield. Lawrence in the pistol, three wide. And Lawrence is back to pass, has a lot of time on this four-man rush and oh, runs out of it. Okay, so uh, Trevor Lawrence just Ian booked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coverage sack there by LSU. Just, I, I guess, nobody opened. I mean, this angle's not really showing us shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that, I don't understand. Etienne was just, like, literally just squatting, looking at no one. So now Clemson dropped back to the 20, second and 16. Lawrence stays in the pistol, two tight ends in. Hand off to Etienne, and he's hit at the line. Gets a gain of one. Third and long coming up for Clemson. Bad uh, bad situation to be in. Uh, you know, I mean, I know this is just a field goal, but uh, coming off the score, they got to they gotta pick it up here. And some press coverage from LSU, even yeah, on man. this third and long. Only That's rushing three, short. so Lawrence has got forever. all freaking day. Finally throws it and oh. is dropped. Could have been a first down. There was a little bit of room there. Instead, they will have to punt it away, and LSU's coming for this one. Well, well, well. Not looking good, Clemson. So this kick does get away, and this punt is going to go to the opposing 40. Across midfield goes LSU with a Chris Fink return tribute. <laughs> Derek Stanley. The only difference was he literally started ducking five yards early. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to hit you 10 yards Murder. before I get there. <laughs> LSU will start just inside plus territory, come out with two tight ends, I formation. And off to Edwards Lair. He bounces oh off God. tackle. Oh, that was a manly no gain. <laughs> that was the, yeah. He bounced off the first tackle, pushed the second one, only to get taken down by the third. Okay. So thus far, we haven't really seen LSU spread it out or go vertical yet. No. And once again, this will go to Clyde Edwards Lair, and he has dropped immediately. Four yard loss, third and 14 upcoming. They were crashing inside and they drew inside. Great. <laughs> really want to know what the right tackle was doing. It's like he thought it was a pass play because he immediately took steps back instead of going forward and hitting his man. Nope. So in third and 14, Burrow is back to pass and it is swatted down right in his face. It swatted down and bounced into like four people's hands before hitting the ground. So fourth and 14, despite starting in a little bit of plus territory, LSU does not gain a single yard. And I, I'm getting some LSU flashbacks to a certain title game they played in. Uh-oh. <laughs> and once again, yeah. punts do not die in this game. No. Well, they, they always take two bounces. So if it hits the first, it's going to be at least like a five to six yards for the second, and then it dies. It's like the physics don't have any pump backspin. No, ever. like gravity is not a thing, and there's certainly no like buoyancy to the ball. It's not <laughs> <laughs> well, first and 10, Clemson will take over on their own 20. And off to ATN, he cuts up field as 10 plus there, 11 yard gain. And that's one way to neutralize the defense there, ATN, and that's what they've done through a lot of the season. Even when Lawrence has had the slow start, ATN just gets cooking. Yeah, I mean, this has been a, a struggle for Lawrence, I guess, relative to last year, this year. ATN has been uh, the bailout, you know, the get out of jail free card. Yeah, and then, and then uh, so five yard gain there up the middle for ATN, and then, yeah, Lawrence. Settles down, and then it's Church. We'll see if that game plan holds here. ATN again up the gut, eight-yard gain. It's like if yeah. LSU's going to – they caught him in that three-man front, and they're going to continue just to go no huddle and run ATN, it looks like. 
gap, and they're just ex exploiting the A-gaps. I mean, look at it. They're, they're wide open. And here comes a play action, wide open across the middle, and complete yeah. and breaking tackles across the 40. Wow. Goes J.C. Chalk after the 19-yard gain. That was the tightest of tight roping. I mean, by a, his by a big man, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, LSU's 36. The ball moves now. Best field position all game so far for Clemson. Blitz coming Outside. and dumped off to ATN. And he gets three yards before he's taken him down. Second and seven for Clemson. God, the physics of that tackle made it really look like he got injured. And I was just like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Both my knees have now exploded. And I can't. And back to pass is Lawrence and drop by Chalk. That's the second drop pass of the game. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of Lindsay I see in here. <laughs> <laughs> the Sim is here to fuck with everybody equally. Please note that all players I refer to are Sim versions of the <laughs> Lawrence dumps it off. Chalk gets this and one gets and loses a yard. Fourth and eight and plus territory. Could be go for it territory here, but uh, it's the, the first quarter. Sims and this done is weird shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 204 is here left to go in the first. And oh, they're going to try a 51 yard field goal. Are you shitting me? Let's see how this one works out. All right. All right you know what? It's Might up. Work. It looks like it's got That's plenty working. of distance. Oh, goes wide right. Okay. All right. It definitely, it definitely had the distance, though. It did. It went well right. Wow. About a couple of yards. Well, right, a decent attempt. Left. LSU will now take over on the their own 34-yard line. Single yep. back formation, two tight ends. Hand off to Edward right. Blair. Four-yard gain. Man, yeah, I was, I, I was I, excited to see a little bit of Burrow fireworks here. We're not that's what I'm saying. Like, they they got to open it up at this point. I mean, like, I know their bread and butter, according to the game, is to run the ball. But, I mean, you know, four wide isn't going to hurt nobody. Oh, five oh, is great. Five wide, well, well, it may hurt you if you're playing the game. <laughs> and a little dump route here. First oh. down, easy by Dylan. Seven-yard game. Shake and bake immediately. He just stepped and turned. And the game was like, oh, I got nothing for that. Well, LSU getting back to, I guess, familiar territory back in the night formation. And this is some play uh -oh. action. Oh, almost busted oh. there to a fullback. Holy Tory shit. Carter, eight-yard gain on that play action dump. He, he did a spin move on the first tackle and then still fought off the second tackler. Across midfield goes LSU second and two. High formation. And another play action here. Okay. Burrow looking deep and pulls it down. He's got the first. He goes across got the, the 40. Block. 11 yard game by Burrow. That was that. I mean, that, that was 11 yards. It felt like 30. <laughs> well, a very lumbering 11 yeah. yards was that. But I mean, when you're in man coverage and nobody's looking at you, take off. Fine. Edward Zelaire gets the, uh, the ball here. Four yard gain. Second and six as the first quarter winds down. 35 remaining. Yo, I mean, it's it's still the first quarter. It, this feels like the actual TV broadcast of the goddamn championship game. <laughs> <laughs> Too tight, single back, Burrow under center. And he is back to pass. Blitz coming, immediately dumped off. It is complete yeah. to Jefferson for a four-yard gain. Oh, oh. oh, my dear oh. God. Joe Burrow has gone down injured, people. Heisman Trophy winner out of the game. We will get an update as soon as it's there. That's just bum, awful. Bum, 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 bum. Third and two. Edwards Alaire <laughs> gets the first down as the first quarter will end after Ooh. that. Oh, Burrow is out Ooh. for two quarters. Okay, wait, wait. Did this quarter count? Like, does the game count those seconds as this quarter? We will find out. It may. It very well may. Be back at halftime, people. He may be back at halftime. Or he's going to have to appear for some fourth quarter heroics. Well, we'll see. what I mean, thus far, really haven't used his arm. Have just used the legs of Edwards Alaire. And speaking of legs, the entire offensive line no, used him to no, jump. No, no, you see, that was an example of him using his sexy voice. And the <laughs> offensive line not recognizing this unsexy new voice. New, new quarterback, new cadence, five-yard loss. Yeah. So the ball is now on the Clemson. 28 yard line, three wide. I don't even oh, know where the backup passing. is. Passing. But he's throwing and he throws a pass. Oh my God! He could take this to the house. <laughs> Ooh, where's Joe Burrow, you say? Oh my God! Uh, that may not be of an impact, you say. <laughs> Miles Brennan was the backup that fucked that up. 
Uh, oh. He's got miles to go. I'll tell you what. Oh, oh man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna get nasty messages from LSU fans for this. Ba-da-ba-da-ba. Interesting game. <laughs> Welcome to what the Sim does to us all every week. The Sim gives no fucks, and we're all here for it. <laughs> chalk gets a little dump off there. That ends up going for 13 yards. Yeah, yeah, watch Darryl's now. World. Chalk will never drop a pass again. <laughs> <laughs> Clemson is pushed up to the LSU 40 after the pick and first down. And another little dump here. This looks like it's oh. the ATN. And yeah. no, that's T. Higgins. Excuse me. Oh, boy. 10 yard gain, but it is just short of the line to gain. So just. Do you remember? Go ahead. Do you remember the old games have to, you have, used to have Lee Corso in the announcer, right? Mm -hmm. He would always bring up uh, Mo as momentum. He would never say momentum. Oh, yeah. like, oh looks like they got the old Mo. M O. Yeah. I feel like they to make up for that, the game must have calculated a momentum <laughs> shift. I swear to God. <laughs> Well, Lawrence gets a first down on a read option, and he pulls it down here, but he forgot it needs to run. What, what the, the fuck, fuck was that? going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He just pulled a Mike Leach. Look, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> How? <laughs> Trevor Lawrence had faked in the handoff and then just stood there. Somebody clipped Arms that shit. Died. Oh, my gosh. Second and 15. Now, Lawrence, it's his brain's everywhere. He just throws I... it away. Love this fucking sin. Oh my god! I've wow. never seen that. What is happening? Oh, oh man! All right, third and fifteen now. Jesus! <laughs> and Lawrence throws it away again. So after having the most inexcusable brain fart of all time, can I just say <laughs> that would be the first explicit and shamelessly demonstrated version of throwing a game? <laughs> and now there's a false start. Look, he's point shaving <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, welcome aboard. We got a little bit of a raid. Thanks, Hyper One, for coming on by. Point shaving, folks. And now they're gonna punt it on the forty-one. Oh <laughs> no, not the they forty-one. It's the thirty-nine. Jesus. <laughs> they all started themselves out of a field goal. And they're punting inside the forty. And that is a net gain of nineteen yards on the punt. Oh. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> so to reset Joe Burrow out for at least one more quarter. No, keep him out. I need this. <laughs> and they're just going to go back to running the ball with Edwards Alaire. Oh, holy crap. For, uh, one yard gain there on first down. 645 left to go here in the half. And gosh, we, we apparently saved the best sim drugs for last. Wow. I mean, these are right into the veins. Another pass here. Edwards yeah, Alaire gets this for nothing. Man, this is this is something else right here. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Third and nine. Well, let's see is back to pass once again. All Touched. day. Complete. Look at that. Justin yeah. Jefferson. 21 yard game from Brennan. Yeah, I'm, I want to say good job, Brennan, but I mean, he's just a <laughs> Pass is wobbly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so wobbly. It's hey, Jerkovic all over the place. <laughs> now we can joke about it. Now we can joke about it, people. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> it's funny now. Oh, man. All right, first down, just across the 42. Edwards Alaire trying to turn the corner here. Never gets it. Loses a yard. <laughs> oh, just over six minutes to go. Second and 11 coming in. I, again, this is like the less miles resurrected offense right now. If this fucking game ends three to nothing, <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost expecting it at this point. Oh my god! Another yeah, false no, start. Him. Nobody wants to win this fucking game. <laughs> it will wow. be second and sixteen after the brain fart by LSU. <laughs> the way it happened, it looked like Brennan was trying to cause a false start. Hi, oh. <laughs> ah, I just got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. You're welcome. Third, second and 16, Brennan in the shotgun. Man coming in motion, splitting out wide. And a handoff, and a good Smack. God, a stiff arm yeah. and a half by Emery, but that's only a two yard gain. So it was one of those upright stiff arms where, like, when somebody's too close to the club and you're just like, mm. third and 14, Clemson with three down linemen, five wide drink. 
And a short little dump pass here. Well short of the sticks for Marshall. 11-yard gain, but that will not be enough. And I have a feeling LSU would be putting this one. I'm sorry. I don't know why anyone on this field is happy. Like, this is just a three-and-out party. This blows. <laughs> the, yeah, if this actually happens, can you imagine the collective brick shitting by ESPN knowing the oh Heisman Trophy God. winner's out? The oh, putt oh, finally oh. died! He coughed and cornered it. He coughed and cornered that shit. The wow. XFL frowns upon it, but here, punting is winning. That's what's up. Inside the five. Four Damn. on the four. Lawrence is ballsy, starting from the pistol here. Back to pass. Oh, Over the did. middle, and it's complete. All right. Justin Ross, 15-yard gain, giving them more than enough room. 5.08 left here to go on the half. Ball pushed up to the 19. All right. Now watch for Trevor Lawrence point shaving. I'm, sw I'm telling you. <laughs> Lawrence stays in the pistol. Chalk in motion. And it goes to him down in the far side flat. Eight-yard gain, second and two upcoming with less than five minutes to go. I'm hoping for you to say drops back to pass, and he just drops his arms again. <laughs> I, I still can't believe he I've just stood there. I've never seen that in my life. That's unbelievable. The AI said fuck you. It was amazing. And no drop here and, oh. and no look back there. I'm not even sure who the intended receiver was. I, he, okay, so Lawrence was, I guess, looking for just an instant, like a quick instant release. But, uh, yeah, they weren't. Yeah. Quarterback on the hot route. No receiver was. So on third and two, this will hand off to ATN. He's trying to bounce it to the outside, and he has it. Five-yard game. First and 10 on the 32. Clemson sticking with this too tight look. I hate it. A little bit of shifting by the tight ends here. And back to pass over the middle and complete for 12 yards. Was, definitely somebody got tackled on the offensive line <laughs> way instantly. And they both fell. Nobody got called. Great. First and 10 now on the 43 yard line. Still two tight ends here for Clemson. And back to pass. And again over the middle. This time Chalk is hit immediately for a four-yard gain. Yeah. What is with all this underneath dumping fucking low conservative safe shit, people? Let's go. Tear it up. These are not the teams that we watched all season long. Not at all. Now ATN busts loose on this one across the opposing 40 on a 14-yard gain. This is just a pair of teams trying to work running late. That's what I'm seeing. This is like old school, like <laughs> triple option type stuff. The explosive plays have all been on the ground so far. Look, he's doing it again. He did it again. <laughs> he did it again. He's point shaving. He's fucking point shaving. <laughs> well, I'm glad I took the under in this game. It's like he gets hit in the face by ATN and then he loses all sense of where he is. Maybe because he's so tall, it glitches his face. I don't know, but that's twice where he's just stood there and taken a five-yard loss, and now another false start. Another false start. That's what happened after the last one. Hmm. And we thought it was weird when we were simming the Notre Dame season. Jesus. EA, have we found another ancient bug in your shit? <laughs> <laughs> so now wow. backed up all the way to the 49-yard line. Second and 20, pass complete here. Across to the 40 goes Jalen Lay for the nine-yard gain, but still third and long after the weird sequence yep. of just standing there in a false start. The danger is when he does that read option shit. So, uh, I don't know. We'll ho hopefully they avoid it. Well, Lawrence throws a deep ball wide, wide open to Mari Rogers for the That's score. That's how you avoid it. <laughs> I don't think he's shaving the points. Wow. Wow. Maybe it's Dabble being like, okay, I'm going to need you two plays. You just, like, forget how to play. <laughs> you know what? It does look like Trevor Lawrence is taller than, like, his entire team. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's the <laughs> tallest player on the team. There's something wrong there. <laughs> so a nice 40-yard touchdown strike there by Clemson. The extra point is up and good. And we finally uh -oh. found offense. Now you guys actually have to, like, I don't know, try. Well, we still don't have Joe Burrow on the LSU side here. Oh, that's right. Your boy injured. <laughs> LSU will return this one across to the 25. Gets up to about the 27 as Edwards Alaire. Wow, he's 29 yard next. return. All right. So with 324 left, lots of time to put together a drive here before the half. Lots of time to go three and out six <laughs> times in a row, too. I don't know. I'm just saying. Anything can happen. Three wide, read option, and nowhere goes Brennan. No game. All 
right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I would have loved to have seen if they actually made Joe Burrow like capable of running in this game because he is. But uh, yeah, Miles Brandon, uh, I don't think you got the stats, my friend. Yeah, we saw that one lumbering 11 yard scramble. That's about it. Screen getting set up here for LSU. Blockers are here. Oh, oh, oh. And Edwards Alaire just decides to run out of bounds. I mean, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It's amazing. I gotta find new sliders next year. All the logic is broken. Urgent. <laughs> Three wide for Brennan. Man coming in motion, so all receivers are gonna be on the near sideline. And changing the play. And we're gonna have another freaking another screen. Three. Edwards Alaire's got a little room, but he does not get there. Five yard gain. LSC will have to punt it again. I would like to have believed that if he was falling straight forward, he might have made it. Well, we'll see how much time LSU tries to bleed the clock here. Both teams have all three timeouts, so no, they'll go ahead and put it away. Zero seconds. 220 is when uh, Clemson will have this across to the 30. 35, oh. got room. Across to the 40, tackle broken. Amari Rogers, 19-yard return. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, we're looking at a football game featuring, like, six premier elite, unfucking stoppable wide receivers. And we're all just going to fucking SEC it away, aren't we? We're just, <laughs> all right, it's Bama. It's 2011. We're going to go old it. school this shit. And ATN gets this handoff, and he bursts up midfield. Eight-yard gain, second and two coming up. Just over two minutes remaining. Clemson still with all three timeouts. So we are just under two minutes now. Lawrence. Read option. Opa. This time he actually runs across to the Breaks 40, across the 35, breaks a couple tackles, 16-yard gain. And does the opposite of sliding. I mean, he just ran face first into contact. Well, right. I mean, it looks like he can run every player over on the field, so you might as well. I'm worried that after the Ohio State contact thing that, like, triggered their success, <laughs> he's going to be like a glutton for punishment, like, <laughs> looked to get smacked. And then he's going to, you know, he's going he's gonna to be into that later. The screen off to the near side to ATN goes for six. Second and four. Clemson was still all their timeouts. 135 left here to go in the half. Lawrence is back to pass. He pulls God, it down. He's, he's got a blocker. That looked like a draw, maybe. Yep. Six-yard gain. First down. 131 left here to go in the half. Clemson is just cooking right now. Yep. They've decided, oh, we give a fuck now. It's happening. Three wide. Lots of time here for Lawrence. He throws down and it's big. He's got a lot of room. He's Take got a lot of room. Ass. Oh, Lawrence is Lawrence, fast as shit. And Lawrence, Lawrence may cut him off across the 45 to the 40 where Lawrence finally catches up. Wow. Hey, I mean, good for Lawrence. But yeah, dude, that was instantly, instantly red. Kerry Vincent Jr. jumps the deep out route Oof. and a huge, huge mistake by Clemson. With 118 left and a defense, uh, or really, excuse me, an offense that hasn't done much for LSU with their backup, now has good field position on the Clemson 38-yard line. What can Brennan get done? He's got three wide. He's in the pistol. He is back to pass. Throws to the far near sideline. It is complete to chase. Eight-yard game. Over top of the defender where only the receiver could get it. That was a ballsy pass, too. Nice. On the 30-yard line now is LSU. Brennan has three receivers, one tight end, one back. Minute 14, here we go. And all three timeouts as well. Brennan decides to pull oh, it down. He oh. breaks a tackle, and somehow he lost a yard, even though it sure as hell looked like he gained one. But Yeah, third and three. Oh, no, he did. Oh, yeah, no, you, okay. I, I guess the, the line got pushed back, so a little bit of an illusion there. There's 108 left. LSU still has all three timeouts. Nobody okay. wants to use them. I see that. I'm like, what's why? It's third down. <laughs> Back in the I formation goes LSU. Oh, fuck. Edwards Alaire gets it yeah. and gets smacked yeah. for no gain. They run to stretch on the outside when they had everything crushed up the middle. Oh, they're and they're going to kick the field goal. This is going to be a 49 yard attempt. This is a terrible. Uh, and now I think they're going to bleed as much clock while LSU here. Everybody's got their timeouts. <laughs> This is the Matt Hatter. This is the Matt Shatter. Mm. This is so fucking weird. 30 seconds left here to go. We got about like, uh, I don't know, 13, 12 seconds more to vamp. Oh, no, yeah, no. If you uh, <laughs> need to go check the teapot or, you know. 
And this is where I wish we had like some footage of Coach O or, or Dabo or something in this game. But this kick is now up and it is good. good. So LSU willing to play for the field goal with 13 seconds remaining. Clemson 7, LSU 6. You really should have uh, done more with that. I mean, they could have got the first, taken a timeout before they ran a stretch play. Come on. This is going to be kneeled in the end zone. We'll see uh, if Clemson is apt just to go into halftime with a one-point lead. But really, what the play of the game so far is Trevor Lawrence being a freak of nature and actually running down the pick six because that Dude. had six written all over it. I mean, he's the size of a fucking building. I mean, it's <laughs> right as a block, so I get it. <laughs> Here we go, three wide, pistol. There's. It's going to be a handoff to ATN, and he goes yeah. nowhere. That is probably going to be the last play of the That's half. That play was shit from the beginning. I mean, they ran. All three of them ran into each other. <laughs> yep. And yeah, go ahead and huddle up, Clemson's buddy. actually huddling. That should tell you everything you need to know. So, after a half of really weird ass football, why are we subjected to watching this entire huddle? <laughs> it is Clemson seven, LSU six. We will be back for the second half right after this. All right, y'all, I'm going to refill the drink, hit the 60 second ad break. Of course, if you are subbed and such, you can avoid all this. We'll be back in 60. <coughs> and we'll see if Joe Burrow returns, because I sure hope so, because this kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, we did have a little bit of man ball going in there, Red Plague, for sure. All right. Jesus Christ, 80 pass yards. My word. All right, got five left. All right, and we are back ready for the second half. We had some fun stats come up in the half. 80 yards of passing offense for the team that's got the Heisman Trophy winner. <laughs> LSU gets the ball, and they, Edwards Alaire takes it to the 25. And uh, we're going to see it one more time. <laughs> oh, God. 158 yards for LSU. One of the most powerful offenses in college football reduced Accurate. to the bullshit of the Les Miles era. Mm -hmm. Gone are the days, my friend. Well, that, that looks like Burrow back there, so he has returned, and he comes right out the gate with the four-yard read option. All right. The prodigal send returns. All right, so we'll see if we get a little bit more action here. Second and six. Still slamming the football. It's like 45 seconds here. Well, I'm glad we, we got a little bit lucky there in those few seconds to count as one of those two quarters he was out because uh, Brennan wasn't going to get it done. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Another read oh. option for Burrow. Trying to use him oh, as a weapon. Bro tackles. He's pissed off, y'all. Ten yeah, yard Yeah, we game. All right. got him fired up in the locker room. Burrow out there just going fucking running down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> that was too intelligible. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if, I, if I drink the rest of this, we'll get to full coach O. And what oh the God. fuck are you, are you doing, doing, Joe? Oh he just God. threw a look route with a guy draped all over Jefferson. He's lucky that was just a two-yard loss. And, and a defender crashing down on the on the actual passing lane. Oh, my God. That's the kind of shit where if it happened in a Notre Dame game, everybody would be trying to fire the entire coaching staff. Well, Burrow is still in the shotgun, three wide. Has a little bit of time here. Throws it over the middle to nobody. Zero people. Third and 12 now. So um, Burrow, a very nice six for nine, but not a whole hell of a lot of yards right now. Five wide Five if you're wide. still drinking with us. Burrow back to pass. And oh a little hop, skip, and a jump, and a turnaround there for Marshall. Does not get the first down after a nine-yard gain. There, it's Marshall. I mean, you, you, you could come back. To the, to the to the pass, but don't run five yards backwards. Again, this is That's breaking it. my mind. Burrow has not gone vertical this entire game. Really, we've only had one vertical pass, and it was a touchdown by Clemson. Yep, and it was just a straight dart. Oh, God. Great okay. punt coverage. 
Seven yard gain is all Amari Rogers could get on that punt return. And I mean, to be honest, he had room. He just kind of slow started his return. Yeah, and this uh, return is inside the 20 on the 18 to be specific is where Clemson's going to start. Lawrence is in the pistol. And a read option, and oh, he's got nowhere to go, but he breaks the tackle in the backfield, gets a no block. No fucking and way. <laughs> he gets a good seven yard game. He he had a like angel block there. It, that like, was the guy a, just got yeah. stuck in front of him and he got around. Unbelievable athleticism by the big man back there. He's gonna do it again. And he's got a first down and then some across the 40, breaking four of tackles. He's still he's not technically down yet. not, he's down. not down yet. There he is. <laughs> Seventeen yard gain was laying on two defenders and he wasn't down i like how clemson's literally mimicking the lsu drive except with success on the read option exactly. here comes another oh, one. Oh, he got that? hit in the face and it <laughs> fucked him up it hit his face again the, his his <laughs> really he's running back keeps hitting him in the face like boom <laughs> at least this time he tried to run <laughs> he's cussing the fuck out of him this, this is great if this happens in the game Can actually you happens, your own team if he, this actually happens and ATM knocks him in the dome and he can't run, I am just going to lose my mind and my wife's going to think wow. me insane. That's, uh, that's really funny. <laughs> Dixon replaces ATM in the backfield, gets the handoff for no gain. Third and 15 coming up. Oh, my gosh. Lawrence is back to pass. He's got some time. He throws oh, it deep, oh, and it is swatted right. down by Vincent Jr. Harry Vincent is on fire. So we are back to the usual punt fest that we started this with. Only now we have Joe Burrow. In the yes, so we have hope. If the Coach O can remember the fucking playbook. <laughs> and a punt return here goes across to the 30. Uh, Stingley gets 14 yards there. So field flip once early again. Coach O has a, a very drunk leprechaun to it. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't practiced enough of the Coach O yet. <laughs> Edwards Lair gets a handoff, runs through damn near the entire defensive wow. line. 12 yard gain. 5.30 left here to go in the third quarter. Pushed up to the 45 is this ball. First and 10, three wide. Burrow, read option, goes up the middle, across midfield. He, very close to that first down. Nine yard gain, second and one. Yeah. Uh, he just literally lightly jogged nine yards. And why does the quarterbacks always like hold the ball like they're walking, like a, yeah, a they're regular the walk? Ball, like checking their phone. <laughs> and another read Whoa. option for Burrow cuts up field easy first down, breaks the tackle, gets up to the forty. We are full man ball in this. this yeah, is I mean, just a I, brutal I'm game. super into it. I mean, I, I hate the fact that they're running the ball so much. I wish they'd pass it more, but the fact that they're running it with, like, just their balls out of their pants. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be the quickest sim ever. It's like a Navy Army game. Oh, across the middle. Look at this. There he goes. A pass for more than 10 yards. Chase, 17-yard reception. This game just got, like, super even all of a sudden, and you can feel the fuck out of it. That mo, That mo, Shane. I'm telling you, it's an algorithm. There's got to be something in there. That means Clemson's going to win because they're going to get the final ship. Well, this ball right now, that LSU's got, they're going to try to take that mo away from him on the 23. Three wide, Burrow in the shotgun. Oh. Back to pass. Defenders were not ready. Shifting over across the middle. Nobody home there for Clemson. Yeah, Steven Sullivan, ready. easy 12 yards. They were looking back and, like, doing the dumb signaling shit, like, and then they, they turned slow, and they were all out of position. It was the rare zone coverage where there was no zone. Yep. <laughs> Hero zone coverage. Burrow under center now with three wide. Draw play to Edwards oh, Alaire. Just <laughs> he just <laughs> butted somebody in the dick. <laughs> yeah, like torpedoed him in the dick. <laughs> Forty three gets up. Good, good play, man. Reminding me of that poor cricket player that got nailed in the nads. Dude, I oh saw no! <laughs> Second and five on the doorstep of the end zone. Terrible. Edwards Alaire pulled and uh, pulled a Lawrence. He just fell. I think he like he just said like I I, I just really want to take a nap. I'm just, <laughs> Ran into his own lineman's like, yeah, you know, on second thought. Well, this ball's on the 10. Technically, they can get a first down, but basically look at end zone here. Screen getting set up for LSU. And in sim tradition, the screen goes nowhere. LSU will be kicking yet another field goal for the lead. This is old school LSU is. making the game ugly. In 2011, <laughs> this is what you'd get. 
one touchdown, three fucking field goals. Somebody ate too much grass. I don't know. You know what? This is getting my underpants happy, but that's about it right now. And another false start. Jesus. Did you see the kicker's name? No, I did not. It's Culp. Like, mea Culp. Uh. <laughs> and this will now be a 34-yard field goal. We were drilling it from 50 earlier. This should be cake. And, and it is indeed. So a wonderful 9-7 to seven lead Yay, in the most important ball football ball. game of the year. <laughs> 323 left to go in the third quarter. Yep. And this one uh, will not be returned. We'll take a knee. No, do not show stats. Jesus Christ. We, oh, I mean, look, I, I do love the parody of this. I mean, look how fucking even this is. <laughs> 44 plays for both teams. Eight yards. Or was it 12 yards that separated the two? Barely. Man. Yeah. I mean, that's that, it, it's, it's good to see that they're even. But, uh, man, the way we got here has been eight. And Lawrence, back to pass, decides to scramble and just, like, ran into everybody, his own line Every included. Every one of his offensive linemen hit him. <laughs> but somehow he pinballs his way for three yards. He will set back in the pistol, second and seven, just over three minutes to go. Oh, offside almost. Very close to being offside for LSU. Ooh. And Amari Rogers gets hit as soon as he catches that five-yard pass. Third and two coming up for Clemson. Ball is on the 33-yard line. Another three-man rush, and here comes ATN right yeah, up the I gut. Mean, that's just money, dude. You're going to give him all fucking... Like all day to get six yards? Yeah, I mean, if you're caught in three down linemen, at least send in some linebackers into those gaps you, and third and short. You're just asking yeah. for the first down. Here comes another. Red flag just asked. Are we sure this isn't Bama, LSU regular season? It sure feels like it for 2011. This yeah. is exactly why I keep bringing that hero. <laughs> it's exactly what it feels like. Second and six now after the four-yard rush. Lawrence back to pass. It's going to be a fucking screen. ATN. Man. Has some room, but doesn't go very far. Four-yard gain, third and two. Well, gee, we've seen that somewhere before. But again, that no huddle keeping LSU stuck in this three-down line formation. They only put two with their hands down. This is where Lawrence runs. What like, the hell? I mean, you only have two linemen in a three-point stance. You're yep. asking for, to get blown off the line, and that happened, ATN nine yards. Yep. And they haven't changed much. They're still three down. <laughs> Lawrence is going to run here. The AI has, is right. so broken. It's so great. <laughs> Lawrence back to pass out into oh. the flat. It is complete to Dixon. Eight yard gain. Second and two. Ball is well across midfield now to the 40. Uh, excuse me. The 36 Look yard line. This two down. Oh, okay. Scott. Oh, he is so lined up offside. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Yep. <laughs> ATM still blows stop. through. Uh, excuse me. Dixon blowing through the hole for six yards. So LSU made a terrible uh, uh, formation decision. They've got terrible personnel out there, and they're not given a chance to sub. They're fucked. <laughs> well, here there, comes a false start, so there's uh, your chance. <laughs> so it will now be first and 15. Man, this game has it's gone so fast. This is so weird. It's now it's going fast. i got to say, the first quarter dragged ass. This uh, th These last two, I, I think... With chaos comes lack of attention to time. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Lawrence back to pass. And, and oh, overthrows. Uh, I, maybe Ben Higgins there. It, okay, it was overthrown only because the receiver didn't high point it. He had that shit. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? With some of the receptions we've seen Clemson make, yeah, I, I'd say that's fair. Yeah, yeah. ATN just carving them up. Goodness. I mean, he Ten gets yard game. Without question, it's what after it's what happens after five yards that you have to wonder. Yeah, it's it's not even he he blows past the second level. It's the third level yeah. at this point. Yeah. Third and five, four wide here for Lawrence, who is back to pass, yeah. setting up a screen, and it hits a lineman in the head. He hit his own fucking lineman, <laughs> and it wasn't a lineman that was set up to block. It was there was blockers and they everywhere. Started. They fall started again. Start. <laughs> what is? fucking going on i'm waiting for them to go to kick a field goal and the uh kicker to just say fuck you i'm not gonna kick it this is now <laughs> gonna be a 49 yard attempt watch the kicker not move <laughs> 119 left here to go in the third clemson trying to go back on top the no. kick is up it is no good again Missed. six points have been left on the board in this field goal battle the second it left it's because the, the oh, guy's leg so close <laughs> If they had not false started, that probably would have been good. Or doink. I'm telling you. 
That would have been good. <laughs> Burrow back to pass. Throws complete. Running over oh. across the 40 and the 50. Oh, Got the room good across night. the 40. He is gone. Bye. LSU finally breaks loose. Touchdown, this Tigers. Jamar Chase. Chase, it was just a little eight-yard out route. Breaks a tackle, and then the speed finally takes over. Jamar Chase, can we call him catch me if you can? <laughs> there were two guys there that he blew past. He blew through both of them. One, well, he, he knocked one over. And then the other guy, like, bowed down before him uh, <laughs> before allowing him to just <laughs> just fucking run free. Uh, that was amazing. I want to see some super weird, like, galaxy brain shit. I want him to go for two to go up ten. <laughs> Please! Oh, fuck. That would have been awesome. That would have been so Coach O. Ah. <laughs> it really would have. He would have done it, too. Guaranteed. Yeah. Especially in a low-scoring game. But instead, it's just a regular PAT. 16 to 7 with just over a minute remaining and, and the now, way this game is going that might be too many points to I was going to say in this game it may have it may feel insurmountable to consider a 9 point margin but remember the ease with which Clemson could decide I oh, you know what fucking I want to score a touchdown today and they just did it <laughs> well, so it, it, it's just going to end up being like a, a fucking shootout from here on out. Like, it's like, I, oh, this what? is going so quick, and here come all the points. <laughs> Let's do this. Because I still have most of this drink and most of its bourbon. I, so I do too. This is, yeah, this is not ending well. Hand off to ATN. And actually, no, it's Dixon. Is ATN hurt? Um, I, I don't know. Because he should definitely be out there. I never saw an injury notice. No, there was never a stoppage. Yeah, Dixon again getting the handoff here, and he gets and four for four yards. Well, third and three coming up. Let's see if LSU has learned anything about handling third and short. At least they got four down linemen this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they got, well, they got the three, but they've got at least two edge rushers. They're bringing the house. No, oh, no. Yeah, bringing well, this time there's a pass. Oh, what a play. Got him. Got him. Stuck him right before the sticks. Holy and a fourth shit. and inches. They're going to go three and out. You're fucking punting. If, if, okay, at this point, if LSU can score another touchdown, at that point, it becomes a very, very unlikely lead to surmount. Well, this punt will be received at the 22. Oh, Tackles my God. He's to the 35. Off. Stingley ah. gets damn near to the 40. That momentum squarely in the side of the Tigers from the Louisiana Bayou. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, getting, it's getting hot. Joe Burrow bringing the heat. And they're bringing the heat so hard, they're going back in the I formation, and here's a handoff. <laughs> Edwards Alaire goes absolutely nowhere, just one yard, and now he's hurt. And now he's hurt. Oh my God. All this right, game's well, a nightmare. This game's a living nightmare. <laughs> it's a living nightmare. Everyone's going super slow. Joe Burrow was out for, you know, a quarter. ATN's thankfully. apparently out. Edwards Alaire is now out. <laughs> What's the notice? What's the notice? Are they going to give it to us or are I, they going to make us wait? I haven't seen anything. Maybe maybe he was just shaken up for a quote-unquote quarter and now he's back in for all I know. That would actually be hilarious. Well, Burrow is back to pass. By the heat. And it is deep. Oh, nearly oh. picked off twice by Kendrick. Kendrick bread it and, and bounced and then it hit, hit him again and he bounced. Okay, he'll be returned soon. Yeah, so not, not, a, not a big deal for Edwards Lair. But I tell you what, that's not making LSU fans sleep any better, knowing that he's had some previous injury trouble. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, this, it, this this has been one of those games where, like, at any moment, like one key player could go out, and the entire scale will shift. And just a screen there that goes for a yard. LSU also goes Does three out. Punt is away, and this will damn he. Pick the shit out of that one. That goes all the way to the 15 and oh! a lovely horse collar tackle. <laughs> oh my god. Amari Rogers got clotheslined. <laughs> okay. Dude just got murdered in, in, in ways that would it's the joys of having an old football game. Yeah, <laughs> that shit know. was legal. <laughs> yeah. Hand off to there's ATN, so he's back in. Whatever ailed okay. him is fine. Seven yard game. Okay, so everybody was waiting to be back in the fourth quarter for like peak dramatic, right? Well, you, let's get one of those greatest games, that NCAA greatness I score. I remember that shit. <laughs> ATN oh. gets taken down after a one-yard gain. Third and three coming up. Are we going, 
look, do not end this with a three and out fest, okay? Hey, if LSU's defense can get the stop here, or even better, there's a fumble or some insane shit. I'm in. Hand off to ATN, and he gets. Oh my oh! god! <laughs> ATN! ATN is too bad, card, dude. He just laid a shoulder down. I was about to call stop short of the sticks, but he would not be denied. Now Lawrence is back to pass, looking deep, throws it deep. Oh my God. He's nearly picked off by Fulton. Oh my goodness. So much just happened, you guys. <laughs> ATN just got a first down with his, his forearm. Those drugs so taken in halftime are kicking in. And there's another false start. Good grief. What is this? Notre Dame at Georgia right now with the false starts? Yeah, I was gonna say, but you, you notice you notice the difference because Notre, like no Notre Dame player is like shedding three fucking tackles. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody on this field is doing that or delivering the knockout blow with the fucking shoulder. Yeah, Good man. God, Lawrence back to pass it is complete. Oh. oh, Clark dropped one again or chalk? Oh, excuse me, jumped again. Third and fifteen for Clemson now. So after that manly first down by ATN, I hope they know. It down is back to pass is Lawrence throws it over the middle it will not be nearly enough Ladson only gets 11 yards hey, fourth they and have reason fourth. to celebrate you know, with the amount of time on the clock and the amount of points that they got the lead with uh, this is going to be a tight situation for Clemson coming down the stretch I love how you say the amount of points it's only nine <laughs> that, that's dude look at Clemson's score bitch they got seven <laughs> Blockers here. Oh! oh my goodness, across to the 40 goes Stingley. What a return. I've never wow. actually seen blocking on a punt return. Yeah, Do you see him get around a blocker? It, amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Burrow is in the pistol. I feel like they're just going to try to bleed this clock now. They better. Edward Delaire <laughs> finds a corner, goes off tackle, six yard gain. I mean, they can do something like, you know, short underneath, maybe catch him off guard, but like they need to be running that ball up the gut. <laughs> Just over six yards, or six minutes, under six minutes to go. Six yards, six minutes, all the same thing. All it is same. second and four. That was a six yard game. Speed oh, option. Oh, God. Fumble. Idiot. Oh, Idiots. man. Edwards Alaire dives on it. Burrow nearly fumbled the game I'd away. I say run it up the gut. Joe Burrow says, Oh, you mean pitch it to the floor? I got you. <laughs> Third and twelve. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this game? I bet they still get it. I bet they still get the shit. Burrow back to pass. He's got three receivers. He needs to throw it. He does not get rid of it. <laughs> he takes a sack. Eight yard loss. Oh, that's not how you take care of your lead, my friend. Justin Foster flattened him. That was the biggest. I don't know if you saw the defensive tackles, but they took the biggest freaking loop on a stunt I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Guy was trying to go from one tackle position, not to the defensive end, but like around the corner edge yeah, rush. Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can, I, can I get behind your safety and come back? <laughs> well, LSE will predictably punt it away on a fourth and oh, 20. Received over at the 25 across to the 35 to the 40. Uh -oh. Tripped up his Rogers 14 yard return just across the 40. 513 left to go and they got to score quick here. They just flipped the field position with where exactly LSU got the ball before from their return. If they can take advantage, things can get interesting. Lawrence in the pistol. Hands off to ATN. Nowhere. Zero daylight. Where Divinity, are we? Divinity Jr. just stuffed him right at the line. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the Divinity Senior. <laughs> <laughs> how do we not get a Divinity over on Notre Dame? Can you tell me how the universe works? Because I can't. Well, I get Diablo burning us, like, for Virginia Tech. That made all kinds of sense. By the way, 12-yard first down reception. Right, right. Across midfield goes Clemson. They are on the LSU 48. Read option. Lawrence breaks the oh tackle in the God. backfield, does not break the second one. <laughs> Sorry, because, like, it looked like he had, like, the, the God mode coat on. Doink. Yeah, he breaks that one. I mean, all right, that's a DB, and then you get nailed by the nose tackle. I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, physics definitely applied here. Still across midfield, but just barely are the Clemson Tigers. Lawrence is back to pass here on second and 12, out into the flat to chalk. First, oh, yeah. excuse me, five-yard reception. Why the hell did I say first down? But the alcohol's kicking in, too. Third, third, third and seven. By the way, can I just point out, chalk has yet 
to drop a pass. No, he did. He dropped he one. Would. He dropped one. Oh, okay. Oh, four yard reception here for Rodgers. It's fourth and two. You better go for it. Do not punt this football. Ooh, here we okay, go here we on go. the 40 fourth and two five wide oh, for Clemson shit. He's gonna run it he's gonna run it he's gonna run the fucking ball Lawrence over the middle complete somehow oh. he threw it over the shoulder of a defender that had his arm outstretched and they first got down wow. right. staying, Deserve. staying five wide on that 11 yard reception and another out route here. This is going to be nine yards for TJ Chase. Second and one. Clemson going to keep this mismatch going. Third consecutive play with five wide. Do what you will. They're earning this shit. 340 left here to go in the game. Handoff. They brought one of the receivers in the backfield. TJ Chase gets the first down. They're they're calling formation audibles, dude. Like the shit that I used to fuck around with online. This, is, this AI is amazing. Well, <laughs> they tried well, it too many times. I say it, and then you see it. <laughs> Chase got dropped by the entire LSU defensive line for a yard loss. He's still in the backfield, though. God, he looks gassed. He's going to get the – oh, here goes Lawrence. He's there crossing he the 15. It gets caught from behind. Five-yard gain, hey, third and six. If it weren't for that tackle, he had four blockers in front of him. Now, we have mentioned it's only a nine-point lead, so they do need three at some point. Yep. Third and six. It is complete for the first down. Overton, 11-yard reception. It's first, the exact same way they converted the other fourth down. Yep, first and goal on the three. Clemson now has two tight ends, single back. Under center goes Lawrence. Can't tell. It looks like Dixon back there, but it's a pass no. anyway. A tunnel screen. What are you is, doing? What, he had, Higgins had the touchdown if he just falls forward. So, so Higgins caught it at the one and just turned downfield. Instead of upfield. Unbelievable. Second and goal after the yard loss. Dixon gets the handoff, and he is murdered after a two yard game. And now they're trying to stretch out the defense, you guys. Third, Etienne, where are you? Third and goal. No Etienne in sight. Handoff to Dixon. He is. Oh, I stop. No game. Fourth, it's fourth down. They got to go. Fourth they and goal. Go. You still need the field goal, but they're going to go for it. They want the six. Fourth down stop. This two, is two really minutes, bad seconds. game management. This is really terrible. Well, then again, Fourth. unless you have LSU uh, minus He's six. running it. Oh, he and stopped. He <laughs> no, Travis ATN. They don't bother calling timeout to get him back in. Dixon they loses did. a yard. Dabo Swinney has just usurped every other coach for time <laughs> management right now. That was so stupid. They didn't even have Etienne in the game, and they got stopped on fourth down. There comes the Edwards Alaire to try to ice this sucker away. First timeout for Clemson. 209 left here to go. Second and one, nine yard game. Just called timeout outside of two minutes on second and one. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this is great. Fuck you, Dabo. <laughs> oh my God. And Edwards Alaire gets the first down. Another timeout. 205 left to go. First and 10. It's a wrap. This is a wrap, folks. Clemson's got one timeout. They can still technically get the ball back, and they finally stop Edwards Alaire. No game. Sure. Last sure. timeout used. 2.01 left to go. They can get the ball back with seconds left, and somehow they got to get two He knows there's no two-minute two warning, right? <laughs> no, I don't know if he does. <gasps> over. Run him oh, over the backfield. Oh, Edwards Alaire down. ices the game. First down and more. He's still breaking He's tackles. Shitting. 27 okay. yard game to put the yeah. exclamation the point shed. on this one. 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 Shedding one tackle. Let's see. Let's see. Two. Two. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Three. Three. <laughs> four. Is Almost four. four. Good grief. All right. That is going to do it. They can kneel oh this sucker God. down now. Yep. They're going to take a knee, right? I hope you took the under <laughs> in the virtual They got to run another play. They got to run another play. Well, they really don't have to. No, they don't, but they got to because it's the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. He, he breaks it? loose. And what are you going out of bounds for, you fucking moron? 14-yard <laughs> game. They're just extending this. I'm convinced they want to score more points. <laughs> this is Coach O putting his, his nuts on their table and just dragging it across. He wanted back. to get across midfield before they did. It's like, I don't give a fuck. We're going fucking wrong ball. We don't want to. Yep. They took a knee on second, right? Hey, Dobble, you talk about disrespect. We'll fucking disrespect you all the way up and down the fucking field. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna run it. They kneel it down. They're what gonna are they doing? Play. <laughs> and now they get dropped for a loss. 
I love this. I love the sim. Coach, you know what? Coach Don't Joe's ever like, get another Xbox. He's got Don't a... ever update the game. <laughs> this is so stupid. He's, Coach O's got like bourbon strength. He's got like a big ass beer in one hand and a hand grenade in the other. Well, we milled it. I don't fucking know anymore. I'm fucking running no play. Who gives a shit? We're going to uh, win the national title. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> well, it's you, my coordinators. They told me I'm going to kneel it. The player the of the game is a fucking kicker. <laughs> The player of the game was the kicker, you people. You, I love everything about what just happened. What a way to end the season. <laughs> His name was what? Cooper Culp? Culp. <laughs> <laughs> 16 to 7 is your final. If you're looking for how this projects, that is an LSU cover that is well under. If you don't want this. Never come back. Fuck you. You're not part of it. <laughs> I want this. I'm okay with this. Oh my god. This oh was god. nowhere close to what I was expecting this sim to look like. I'm at so all. okay with this happening. This was this is um, this is amazing. I, I I'm I'm beside <laughs> myself because I just I'm sorry to see the sim officially come to a close for the season. Yeah, we but were, ah! <laughs> what a what way a to end it all. That was a heck of a time folks oh my goodness we're getting how are we pulling out this many highlights in this game that's what i want to know I, they're not pulling out highlights they're just like a show show i don't know just pick a time slot just fucking put, show something i don't know what the actual greatness score was but as far as i'm concerned that was fucking great <laughs> that, was awesome. that was awesome you know what you know what in honor of the tigers i i brand this with the Tony the Tiger Bowl stamp of approval, this was great. <laughs> We're all passing this shit. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I have a feeling there'll be a few more points in the actual yeah. game. I yeah. still very much like the game under, but the total is at sixty nine and a half. Exactly. I, I <laughs> expectation should be like a what, like you know, like a 35, 31 ish somewhere. Yeah. 34. Yeah. However, I mean, if it turns out like this, you know that you have to one place and one place only to come for your predictions, and that right. is the her little son sim. And and folks, I am sad to say that is our last sim of the season. Salute to you, 2019 Sim season. You found some drugs that I didn't know existed. <laughs> we we yep. had a different offensive coordinator. We managed to lose some really. We lost to Bowling Green. <laughs> Sim season. We sure as shit that did. Shit? <laughs> we sure as shit did. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we we had a lot of fun. We we made sure to live relive all your worst nightmares and 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 make some great memories. And we still got one more podcast before we hit the long off season, and that will be to recap the national title game and any other loose ends uh, that may happen between now and then. We thought about doing a post game show for the title game, and then after we did the playoff post game uh, slash Notre Dame post game. We remember that ESPN drags the shit out of those games. So we're, yeah, we're going to do that Tuesday night. So next Tuesday, be here by the channel, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. And we will put a pretty little bow on this thing before we head off into the off season. Well, Shane, it, it was a hell of a run this season. Yep. Had a lot of fun. We found some new toys and, and some new sim drugs. And we'll hell see yeah. what we're able to do next year, man. We didn't even find the sim drugs. The, the sim just found them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just start praying that this Xbox can last at least one more season because yep. I, Shane's got confidence in a new version of the NCAA video game. I do not I for mean, at least another year. Tell the universe is coming and the universe will oblige. I will. And we will get the PC version of the game to introduce as many fucking mods as possible Hell to this crazy yes. shit. <laughs> oh my God. It Updated is, mascots? Yes, friend, let's do friend. it. I can't wait. Please, please figure it all out, NCAA. Get your shit together. Get that image and likeness stuff going. But, folks, that is going to do it for us. Please join us Tuesday live over here at twitch.tv slash Sons. Make sure you give us a follow. Hit the notification so you know when we go live. And, of course, subscribe to us over on the podcast, over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you happen to get your podcast feeds at. Join us in Discord over that long off season. That is our live chat channel, herlolsons.com slash Discord. Of course, we're always at our home at herlolsons.com. Until next time, y'all, go Irish. Enjoy the title game. Have a good one.